Hey, what's up, garden friends? Hanging out in Fan World. I'm not actually ready to start the vlog yet, but I should still. That. How's everybody doing? Jeff, your tropical plant party. I hope you're good. I'm great. I have family over, reminiscing through childhood things, and I just thought I'd start the vlog real quick, even though, well, there won't be a direction here, but I did a succulent arrangement. And it's going to be leaving here fairly soon because I made this for my little sister, but I was like, hey. I did a plant thing, and I should show the plant thing that I finally did, because it's been a while since I've done any plant things. Can we focus? There we go. Tradescanthia nanook, a Sempervivum, don't know the variety, and a Sansevieria that is um, scorched and a little bit sad. But it's alright. I figure this is a nice sturdy plant for someone who doesn't know how to take care of plants. This will be perennial in case they decide to not take it into their apartment during the winter time. That would be understandable. These are toxic, the sense of areas, so um, that way there will still be something in here that'll do some growing. And it's in a on top of a trash can because always trying to keep things classy here. But just a really simple, cute white pot that has legs on it that are, it just came with the legs. They're built in. They're part of the pot. I got this at Lowe's back in the winter time. It's just a really simple white planter with some marbles in it and I was just excited that I finally did some plant things. I did cannibalize one of the other planters that I did a couple months ago on the channel to get this in here but it's fine. There's plenty to go around. I have more so I'd rather she have them than myself because there's just so many other things to take care of. The leaves are a little bit scorched and sad looking but uh that's all right. It's not a big deal. They'll grow and look happy again, I think she'll be able to take care of this. So that's that's all that. You cooling off, Tuck? Yeah, it's kind of toasty out. I mean, it's not really, it's not, it's not toasty at all. That was just a lie. It's like 79 degrees and beautiful. We had some torrential storms last night. The pool was almost overflowing and it was amazing. Cooled things off and now things are great. My helper, who's my sister, she's helping right now. She's in town. That's people who've asked who Buddy is, Buddy. Hi, buddy. Say hello. Yeah, good boy, buddy. That's my sister's dog. And my sister is helping with a lot of my planting. So I have all these Hedichiums here, the butterfly gingers. These were in a video back in June, I believe. And uh, I decided to go ahead and put them into the ground. I had potted them up just to give them a little bit more time, but I think they'll grow faster in the ground. I'll just have to lift them and store them for the winter. And then next winter, I'm going to leave these in the ground all year. And, um, Get an idea of how hardy some of these are. I have a few uh, orange varieties that have been pretty hardy. These here are all pink. So there's five different ones here. Hopefully one of them will survive zone six. That's still a couple years off. Don't have to worry about that just yet. But I'm redoing the labels right now because I like can't even, I can barely read what these say. So I'm going through my invoice and rewriting what they say. I would prefer a black Sharpie, but I don't have one. I can only find purple. So that's what's going on. I don't really know how, how to vlog when somebody else is doing all the work. It's just going to be a lot of talking and randomness, and I guess that's okay. We can make it work. It's still fun getting to see the plants. I pruned the bananas. Here's what they looked like before, and then here's what they look like after from a totally different angle that's not useful. Actually, I think I may have taken an after show. You get it. I cleaned them up so the light can get through to them and light can get down below them. The gingers that I want to trial... I was planning on all putting back here so they will be along not straight up against the wall probably about 18 inches out and kind of uh, staggered scattered a little bit and i still have these palms and crepe myrtles to work with that were going to be worked over here like all the way through but the the bikini teeny kalakajas they've um they've kind of dominated the spot haven't they so i'm sort of trying to decide what I'm going to do with them in a different fashion now. But uh, I know for sure that I want the gingers over here, like kind of in this shape right there. I also need to figure out why those lights didn't turn off. Those are like on an internal timer. So there's an, that's something I can handle. That's just sitting down with an app on my phone. I can do that. But otherwise, I'm just going to set things down. They'll get planted. I'm going to walk around and see what else needs to be planted. Just little things. It's a cool day. It is extremely humid, though. So I still need to stay near my little fan zone to stay cool, but it's just garden stuff. Somebody asked me why I had talked about doing a Zen garden over here and um, I'm not doing it now. It's because I was doing that under the pretense of maybe still having that magnolia tree here and uh, being able to do some different things that would need a little bit more shade. I could do it with sun too, but I kind of have just more settled on. I just sort of want the area planted up in more of a low maintenance way. My 
perspectives on a few things have changed, especially when it comes to just like how much time do I have and how much time do I want to spend on things. I like to have some more perennials in my garden that are just sturdy, tough plants that I don't have to mess with. This I'm saying after I'm talking about putting gingers into the ground that are require, <laughs> going to require tons of mulching and things like that to get them through winter time. Listen, I'm human. We're not always consistent. Or you guys, it's the same thing. Like, we can have different thoughts at the same time. Started thinking out loud here, but yeah, the crepe myrtles and the sable palms were going to be staggered through this bed all the way through, but that's not going to work since, like I said, the Kalakajas are eating the garden bed alive. And I'm going to let them do it because they look awesome, so they can just stay here. They're tall, too. They're probably, I'd say, the tallest one in there, although the ground's raised, so I'd say four and a half feet, but it's about five and a half feet tall right now, but like I said, the bed's raised. Gonna get those gingers in there and walk around and do some other things and talk about some other plans. This, I don't know, this vlog's just gonna be a whole bunch of just random clips of whatever goes on throughout the week, which is nice. I haven't been able to do uh, like a normal vlog in a little while, and that's just because, well, I tried to do one a few weeks ago and um, it just didn't work because I was constantly getting phone calls from the doctors about test results and I was waiting on test results and then like unexpected surgeries were like, I was like out of nowhere, I was getting a phone call saying, hey, you're gonna have surgery on Wednesday. I'd be like, uh, uh, what, why? Um, did you get my test results back? And they were like, no, but we're gonna go ahead and put you in the system just in case. And then turned out it was gonna be a whole nother, it was just a lot. I couldn't get into a place mentally where I could be like, hey, I can actually plan a week where I know that I'll be somewhat kind of more calm and relaxed and can do things in the garden. I still can't really do things in the garden, but other people can do them for me. And that's kind of fun. Look at the petunias. Aren't they just looking fantastic? I am loving the petunias this year. So here we are. Back to what's going to be kind of a normal vlog. There we go. Nice long random intro to uh, what's just a normal vlog. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't think I ever finished what I was saying about the Zen Garden, did I? That time and money just comes out to time and money. It would take a decent amount of labor to get all the gravel in here that I wanted to use, and the gravel I wanted to use is really expensive. So that's mainly the reasons, like, I'm just let's just plant it up. I'll use what I was going to use throughout the garden bed over here instead of spending a fortune on really pretty gray stone to fill the area with, like, a couple shrubs and a fountain. It's just, it's just not the year for it. So I think that this will look beautiful. It'll be fine. It's going to look better than how it looked before or even right now. So that's okay, right? Weather's nice. Probably going to be like this all week. Some scattered storms and I almost just tripped over my dog. <laughs> it's We'll see what happens. There's some other projects I might come up with. Over here is like a storage area and um, basically where I've been cycling plants through. Usually this all gets done in May, but things were different this year because of the health problems. I can see the storm took out my a la caja. So we have to stake that up, but I want to get all these plants out of here and try and maybe fill this up with some impatience or something and finally get things into there <laughs> where they're supposed to be, put place them where they should be this summer now that it's, you know, late July. This is better late than never. For a while I was concerned none of it was going to happen, period, so... At least things are moving and I'm happy about that. Having some second thoughts about planting the gingers, never mind that I just spent the first like, I don't know, seven minutes or whatever of this vlog talking about them. The thing is that I'm trying to keep in mind that this fall, it's very possible that I may not necessarily be in a place where I'm wanting to dig them up and lift them or am able to. I think I should be able to by then, but I'm also going to be really focused at the time on moving the tropicals inside. So since I'm not confident that those will be big enough to survive a winter outside at the small size, at least not a fair enough size to consider it a fair trial for the plants, I think that I'll just leave them and in a month I'll pot them up into something larger or maybe even sooner than that. And um, I don't know. I just, the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, I have to think practically and think forward and it just doesn't seem like a smart idea, right? Just, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's just what makes the most sense for me in thinking about what I'll be able to accomplish coming like October, November. The graft, it's only supposed to take like a month, but that's like more how long it takes to see if the graft takes. And the surgeon said I'll, generally 70 to 80% will take and then the rest can be a fail and then those gaps have to fill in on their own. And it's a big graft site. It's a very big graph site, so 
if there's 30 to 20 percent that's going to need to fill it on its own that's still going to be some like big holes in my body and i would imagine that's going to take a long time to fill in so i should be minimizing things that are going to require physical labor i already have enough things out here that i have to mulch i have people around to help but again I think that it would just be considerate to consider those people. This is weird. My mindset for the vlogs is so different because it's not just like work, 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 work. I'm having to think things through in a different way and I'm not used to it. Let's go to a nursery instead. I haven't been to a nursery in months. I'm going to put on a mask. My sister's going to drive me and we walk around and look at some plants if they have any. From what I understand, y'all been gardening animals and you clean the places out. I don't know, but I'm looking forward just to walk around and seeing some plants. That sounds like fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I have my mask on, my helper's getting a cart, and I'm gonna try and keep it simple because there's one plant specifically that I want here. I don't know if they still have it. If they have it, I'm getting it. And there's like a lot of empty space, so nurseries have been busy. I haven't been to the, since like March, something like that. This is a very exciting experience for me. I cannot wait to see the lack of impulse control I have today. I guess we'll find out how bad it is together. Come on. Oh, it's been a long time. It's too hot to really walk around and look at stuff though. I just came here with my sister to get some mulch. She's doing all the lifting. I still thought I'd show the plants. These grasses, I got one of these, two of these, to put in my front lawn, my front yard. That is, and they look nice, but everything else is pretty much just, you know, shrubs. I think y'all bought out all the plants, which is fantastic. This is really pretty grass, though. The first night fountain grass. Nice purpley, pretty red foliage. Makes me happy. Lots of red dracenas up here. Lots of shrubs. It's a lot of shrubbery. There isn't that much to talk about. It's mostly just shrubs. Oh, but these are cute. I saw these in the spring. Didn't really pay attention to them, but now they look nice. Not $50 nice, though. Yeah, more plants. I did grab a couple passion flower vines, because ones I ordered from uh, um, Aloha Tropicals never showed up. You know, I know in my last video I was talking about, like, not totally being, like, I like white pottery, but it's not for me because I'm a messy person. There's just plants and dirt everywhere, but I do like it. These would be so pretty with just green lots of green in them oh no they have the hydrangea trees this is where i got my vanilla strawberries it was such a good price these are pink diamond that's such a good like these are decent they're not as big as the ones i have but 68 bucks for standardized hydrangea trees isn't bad they're very thirsty that's okay they can be watered it's all right pinky winkies i love pinky winkies <sighs> i'm just happy to be around plants making my heart smile my soul feels good and everybody's wearing masks and staying very far away from each other i feel safe i really like these vinca here they look nothing like what's on the tag so i don't know if they're labeled correctly that just says lilac and these are more of a blush with a cute little red center on them they're an upright vinca and they make me very happy and i'd like to get some but i have enough plants that need to be planted and i don't know for sure what i would do with them but these would be cute in those white pots back there with something fun trailing over the side like a creeping jenny or an i don't know a petunia a calabrac something like that just so much i just i'm so happy right now they have tons of plants and some really cute curcumas up here some nice the siam tulip gingers right there none of these are things i need but they're fun to look at these are getting way too much sun though these need to be moved when they get afternoon shade and their leaves won't be all curled up like that so just note to the lowest people look at those Hanging Vinca up there, those are pretty too. None of this matters, I need to go. I'm not even supposed to be out in the sun. It's starting to warm up, so I'm gonna, time to go home before I start to sweat. It's a successful day at Lowe's. Okay, so I'm home. I know that was a very brief trip to the nursery. They just, there wasn't really much else to show other than what y'all saw. Every, everything sold out, which is great for the nurseries. I'm thrilled for them. Everybody, y'all just a bunch of garden animals. Bought everything out. And you pretty much saw what I got when I was there. There's this beautiful Alocasia Morocco. Look at it. Look at it. You see that? Look at it. It's so beautiful. We just had some rain. So it's got lots of little droplets on it but just talk about 
a gorgeous plant. I've wanted one of these for a really long time. I like these more than the Amazonica just because I kind of like the silvery appearance that they have on their foliage and the beautiful reddish pink tones that they have to the stems. I mean, look, just come on. Come on now. Like, I, I, it's just, it's such a sexy looking plant. It's so pretty. And the foliage is very interesting as far as Elocaceus grow. This one's a little bit derpy. That's all right. You know, this the more mature the plant gets, then the more, I would say, consistent the foliage will start to appear. But look at just those big pointy ears. They have a really cool mask appearance to them. And again, beautiful kind of silvery foliage. It's more silvery veining on a lighter green foliage, but when you match that up with those pink scents, it's just beautiful. The uh, Morocco, right? Alocasia, Morocco, Morocco, um, Morocco, tongue-tied? What's going on? Alocasia, Morocco, also sometimes called Ivory Coast. Yes? That's what the label said. Yeah, it's usually what I see online as well. Then the other plants, I already went ahead and potted them up because I it was like one of the few things that I can do with my body. So I got a couple of pink quill tillandsias here and I just went ahead and put them in this moss pot. It's browned out so it's not as pretty. I thought about putting a fresh coat of moss on here but I just didn't see a reason to because the squirrels are going to get to this eventually anyways and just tear it up. So I was like, eh, it's fine. I'll just leave it brown for now. But it's one of my favorites. You can see this one still has a little bit of time left on its blooms. The flowers will keep popping up out here. You can see they're starting from right there. So it'll keep going. Usually when I buy a cyanate or really any bromeliad, I like to get them when their blooms are still down low. So you have lots of time to watch the flowers come up and out of the tops of them. However, with the pink quills, this looks a little bit red on my screen. Hopefully it's coming across this beautiful pinkish magenta color on your screen. Might help if it's in focus. With these, even when they're done flowering, this will still last for a pretty long time. I've had them stay looking nice for up to like four months. So I don't get as particular with making sure that they are like at the right stage of blooming when I get them. And uh, I went ahead and put it in the moss ball. Y'all know, and I broke off a piece of one of my orchids and stuck it in there too, just because it was already like dangling from the pot. So that looks nice. And then the plant that I went there for, I was very excited about this. They've had it for like, I want to say two years and I've been eyeballing it and I really wanted it. And then I was just like, you know, I get, you, you just go get it. Can you see it? Do you see it? Look, look at, isn't it beautiful? Just saying you Draco. The dragon tree. Such a gorgeous plant. Now, I actually had one of these when I was a little kid, and I think it was from Kmart, of all places. I remember it was like 1999, and I was really young. I was probably like nine years old, and I remember my parents being like, that's too much, and had to do some chores or something to make it happen. And it wasn't much smaller than this, but this we're talking early 90s. Plants were much cheaper back then, but just, it's not... It's beautiful. It just makes me so happy. There are three trunks in here. They're a little bit harder to see. Because I can't get this potted up right now, I have it in between the iguana enclosure and the lotus bowl. That way it'll just, it'll stay upright for now. And it's a little bit sheltered from too much extreme conditions. Uh, it shouldn't get watered too often right here either. It's far away from my sprinklers. This is just kind of a safe spot for it for now. These aren't plants that like a lot of water. The thing I like about this Dracaena though is look at the trunk. They have these really cool, like, smooth grayish white trunks on them that are almost prehistoric looking. It's not that different from uh, the uh, tropical yuccas that you see at, like, the big box stores, the Elephantides, really popular yuccas, yucca, however you want to say it. But it's just more smooth, and these get much larger. I mean, not in my lifetime. It's not going to turn into a gigantic tree, which is fine because it's not hardy here. But even... I'd say over the next 10 years, this could grow a few more feet. The trunks will thicken out and they'll even, they'll start to branch and just, they look so freaking awesome. These are really cool looking plants when they get to be a little bit more mature. And I think they look really cool just as they are. I don't know. I've always wanted it. I've, I've wanted a new one. You know, I had that one when I was a kid and I, I don't know, I had it for a few years and I don't know what happened to it. I was a little kid. I probably overwatered it or something like that. Oh. Here we are into adulthood. Got a new one and it should be around for a very, very, very long time. 
very pretty plant. I love my dragon tree. It's the whole reason I wanted to go there. So I got that. Which is fun, because I haven't been to a nursery in many, many, many months. Now, I get to go to the plastic surgeon, the reconstructive surgeon, and they're going to check on the thing they put on my back. It's like this giant black sponge thing. It feels like there's like an animal that's been like cinched to my back <laughs> since my surgery a few days ago. And I think they're going to remove that and check on the graft and then do something with my graft site, which is just like basically my entire outer thigh. I'm looking forward to finding out what I'm supposed to do with that because it's too, it's too big for a bandage. Like even a gauze pad isn't going to fit over it. So I'm like, what are we going to do here? If they put a plastic thing over it, which I'm not going to show you because it looks bloody. It's not really bloody. It's very red and there's fluids. I don't know how else to describe it, but I can't like necessarily tell exactly where the graft was taken. So I know that it was like a very thin layer of skin, which makes me nervous. I'm like, that means that the skin on my shoulder where the graft is, is extremely thin. So does that mean that like, if I sneeze wrong, that it's just going to rip? Like, is it like tissue paper? I don't know. See, I have lots of questions. I'm looking forward to going to the doctor. I'm going to go right now. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Ready to go inside? Want to go inside? Okay. You guys want to go to the doctor with me? I don't think that's allowed, but maybe we can go on a car ride. Car rides are fun. Buddy, you like car rides, don't you, buddy? Say hi. Toby. Toby. Say hi. Buddy. Oh, hey bud. Hello. We got to go on a car ride. Went to the doctor's office. And now we get in show. Anybody? I'm not here to pick up beer. Is there a sign for the place? Happy Joe's Pizza. This is pizza. They have pizza. Car ride time. I'm enjoying car ride time. Doctor's appointment was, um, well, it was interesting no bad news just a whole lot of pain they took the bandage off my donor site from my thigh and then scrubbed it they just they started she she was scrubbing the the wound that was horrible and now it feels terrible but it's going to get better so i'm not going to stress out about it and the alternative to this would have been they didn't get rid of my cancer and I would have had to have more surgeries and more pathology. So I'm going to take it. Seems like small potatoes, a little bit of discomfort for a week or two. No big deal. Uh, so that's good. Good news there. And it's always fun to go on car rides with the dogs, especially because it's hot. So I haven't been able to be outside with them today. Wow, that would be a great picture. But I'm holding my phone with my left hand. Toby, any interest in saying hello? Neither of you. Do you smell the pizza? Do you smell the pizza? Do you eat cookies? Nothing? No, no intro. Okay, almost got an acknowledgement. Well, that's fine. It says it's time to go anyways and get food and medication and spend some time with the dogs. So we'll pick up with more stuff in the garden. Can you hear that? It stopped. It's going to stop making the noise as soon as I get over here, huh? What's that about? What's going on there, fish tank? Pumpkin, you <laughs> not fish tank. Under the fish tank, appears to need some water. Someone else is gonna have to do that. That's a marble queen pothos that's growing up the sides of the stand. I think I'm just gonna leave it there forever and let it just gum up through here and just eat the whole house. I think that'd be cute. <clears throat> Maybe not cute. That's probably not the right words. Look how much the fish tank cleared up. Looking better, right? From the like chocolate milk mud situation where it was full of dirt last week looking much better i'm sorry i startled you i didn't mean to do that these goldfish were from the pond in the garage i didn't want to put them in the pond outside because i had to put the oscar cichlids in the pond outside when this tank when the plumbing got messed up and the tank got filled with mud so they're in here now while the oscars are outside things are backwards it should be the other way around but it's fine they're okay if they're keeping things cycled and doing okay in here I did have to crank the heater down for him, but they're okay. Buddy, what you doing? What you doing, bud? Yeah, you said stain. So much fun having old dogs. Not you, buddy. You didn't do that. That's a Tucker thing. Tucker, he makes messes. <sighs> I let my pets get away with way, way, way too many things. Right, Pumpkin? Yep, okay. All right. Is it nice enough to go outside, Toby? Let's give it a try. 
think it's nice enough to go outside. See, I can still walk. It just, it really hurts, but I can do it. And it's not as bad as it was yesterday. The last clip, that's yesterday. I've had some sleep and uh, feels this much better. And one day, that is very, very, very encouraging. <sighs> feels like a nice day. I guess I'll go out. That's pretty. Also, it's three days later from that last clip. I opened the door and I was like, hey, I'm gonna go outside. And then I, I did, but it was just too hot. I couldn't record anything. I had to sit with the fans. But some things have happened. This area got all done and planted up and uh, they did a really good job. I just, I need to straighten out the one needle palm that's back there. But otherwise, like this looks, this looks great. I'm happy with it. it. It's it's good. There's a planter, a big shallow dish that's going to go in the middle here that's sitting down over here on the patio. I'm waiting for my brother-in-law to come over here this afternoon and he and the others are going to help get it up there. It's not super heavy, but it's too heavy for me because I'm really not even supposed to like like do much of anything. So they'll get that moved up there and can plant stuff in there. I could do the planting of the little things. Like there's little annuals and things I can tuck around and do some things with so I'm really happy with how all of that is going. I think this came out very nicely. There will be annuals and more things tucked in here and some this is just kind of the start to the area and it, it works. I'm good with it. I think it looks okay. And this which I'm pretty sure I showed at the beginning of the vlog maybe. I don't know. This, this week's really boring. This past month, month and a half is really boring but the elephant ear garden is doing okay. The bulbs are <laughs> planted a little bit high, but it's fine. They're starting to put up some stuff. The um, alocasias, these are protoras, I believe. They're just kind of chilling, but they're not dying, so that's good. I'll take it. This area could use some mulch, so potentially maybe that will get done today. Not in the video. But um, today's the last day that I have my, my main helper in town. It's been here for like three and a half weeks, and I'm very grateful for everything. But, you know, I gotta milk this cow for all it's worth. <laughs> so I'm gonna send her to the hardware store to get a few bags of mulch, uh, just because the weeds over here will be out of control without something on top. Because you can see just all the little tiny stuff. This has always been a problematic spot for weeds, and now it's gonna be way worse without something on top of here. So going to try and hopefully get that done or have somebody else hopefully get it done that is I think that will look nice once it's complete and as far as my own projects are concerned I have a little potting area set up over here over here I have my potting area set up over here where I'm just basically taking little heliconia rhizomes I'm gonna bump up them up into larger pots it's early talking is harder than it should be but with heliconias usually I wait until they start to put up one to two new shoots and I know that these are in really really small pots but they're one of those plants where with me they just don't really seem to get going until they get a little bit root bound when you're working with a tiny piece of rhizome and then it's like a matter of keeping bumping them up slowly and that seems to make a difference and help out so that's what I'm doing instead of moving them into something big right away and then gradually bumping them up larger and larger and larger. And then I have all these elephant ears over here. These are divisions that I took from all the ones that were planted over there. These are elocasias right here. I'm going to send these back to Florida with my older sister. She's the one who's here and has been helping me. Their landscape pretty much got blown away by Hurricane Michael. Not pretty much. It, it's, it's gone. There's like literally nothing in their backyard. So I was thinking that... I will go ahead and take these and trim them up and probably put them into trash bags or big paper bags like the lawn waste bags to get those ready to send back down to Florida with her and they can plant these around in their yard and I mean, it'll be better than nothing. They'll have something in their yard and it's free. Who doesn't love free? I know I certainly do. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's at least seven or eight of these in there and you know, they'll multiply they're not going to spread like crazy but they'll get nice and tall and be pretty plants and especially down in florida they'll probably need to get potted up with some garden soil because they have like straight up sand but the way it's raining down there they should take off and do just fine on their own without too much effort i think oh and uh, got the rest of the plants 
moved out almost the rest of the plants. There's still a few more things. There's like one shelf left that has some little things, but managed to get that done late. Usually do this in May, but better late than never. Some of them are very thirsty and very unhappy, but you know, there's been some heavy stuff going on and I thought they were being watered. Turned out I was wrong, but they're outside now. They're under an umbrella and they think that, you know, they'll have that afternoon shade. They should be fine. A little bit raggedy and scraggly, but I think they'll be okay. I don't know for sure, but they should be fine. I think. Ugh, I can't believe it's the end of July already. It's time to get on top of the July garden tour. So that'll probably be the next video that comes out, or it'll be next weekend's vlog. Depends on how things go. I'm feeling pretty good today. The pain's like so, so, so much more tolerable than it was a few days ago when they scrubbed my donor site. That, oh my gosh, that hurts so much. Feels much better now. Like, it's, I think I mentioned, just kind of feels like a sunburn. It's not too bad. Totally something I can stand and uh, put up with, but still can't do the yard work. Got other people doing it for me, and uh, but things are getting done, and I'm happy with the way things are going. I feel very blessed and very fortunate to have people around me who love me and are helping me out with things around the yard, and ah, I just feel good. Oh, this peperomia. Look at that poor peperomia. So that was in the garage, and I <laughs> just got brought out, and I was like, okay, apparently this plant was not getting watered, so uh, I went ahead and I just Stuck it here in the fountain, as you can see, and I, I don't know if that's going to save it or not. We will see. It's only been in there for like five minutes. That's one of those ones where I think it will maybe partially rehydrate, and then it'll need a cut back, and it'll have to regrow from the main stems, if at all. I've never seen one of these look at that. Oh, the poor thing. I didn't know. And things are out of my control right now. It is what it is. The majority of the plants are nice and happy and healthy, so I'm okay with it. And that's not even like what's important right now. Life is good. I'm feeling good. I think it's like too late in the week for me to actually get anything done for the vlog, though. So I'm just gonna wrap it up. I attempted getting back at the daily vlogging thing and putting it all together into one long video. Uh, baby steps. We'll get back to normal here soon enough. Uh, but I had a good time. Hopefully you did too. Hope y'all are having a great weekend. And um, we'll be getting back into the regular as things go on, as things progress. And, you know, as long as the weather's not too hot, I can be outside, have my fans on me and everything. And, yeah. Like I said, I'm feeling good. Hope you are too. We got all my, all my social medias linked down below in the description of the video. Use Instagram more than anything else. And you know, the whole YouTube thing, you'd like the video, that'd be great. Subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. I have some bonsai materials coming in the mail. I have tons of bonsai pottery. I used to do a lot of them, but I ran out of the top dressing. It's like a very fine lava gravel that I like to dress the tops with. And I haven't been able to find it for sale in years. And when I do, it's like $8 for a tiny little bag. I found some for a good price. When that gets in the mail, I'm gonna get back into trying to get some bonsai things done. I'm gonna try and flip this orchid over too without tripping over these electrical cords. Just now notice that this guy's fallen over. Stand you back up, there you go. I think I said I was gonna go. I'm gonna go, okay, all right. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.